Hello friends, in this video, we will solve a problem related to the dice, okay, in the probability section, okay. So the question is like this, what is the probability of getting sum is equal to 9, sum 9 from 2 throws of a, okay, 2 throws of a dice, okay, 2 throws of a dice, okay. So the sum, the probability of getting 9, the sum is 9 from 2 throws of a die. So whenever we are throwing a 2 dice, okay, so this is the first one and this is the second one. So what are the so sample spaces, how many elements the sample space is going to be contained? Because we are throwing dice 2 times, so in the first case, there is a possibility of getting 6 outcomes. So in the second case, there is a possibility of getting on the second dice, okay, there is a possibility of getting 6 outcomes. So, the total number of outcomes is going to be 6 into 6, 36, okay, 6 into 6, 6. So, in the permutation sum and combinations I told, so whenever we are performing two operations, okay, simultaneously, okay, one after another, so the both uh, operations can be done in the form of m into n. If the first operation can be done in m ways and second operation can be done in the n ways, then the both operation can be done together in the in m into n ways. Okay, m into n ways. In the same manner, so when we are throwing a first dice, we have six outcomes, six possible outcomes. Whenever we are throwing second dice, I mean that is also contain six outcomes. So the total number of outcomes he throws of a die, two throws of a dice, so that is going to be. 36 okay so how we uh, get 36 suppose the on the first time we have one and the second time also we have one and the first time we have one and the second time we have two so one three and one four and one point one six so we can repeat the same thing for the on the first throw i mean on the first try throw we may get two and the sec second throw one to six so that is going to be six into six okay six into six so, 2 throws of a dice is going to be 36 uh, sample, I mean the number of elements in the sample space. So, that is n of s is going to be 36. Okay, we have to find the sum going to be, sum is 9. Okay, the 2 throws of dice. So, when the sum is going to be 9, when we have first throw 3 and the second throw is 6. Otherwise, the first throw contains 4 and the second throw of the dice contains 5. Otherwise, first throw contains 6 and the second throw contains 3. So, otherwise, first throw contains 5 and second throw contains 4. So, in all these cases, the sum is going to be 9. The sum is going to be 9. So, this is our n of e. So, n of e is 4. But n of s is 36. The probability of e, the probability of e is going to be n of e by n of s is equal to that is 4 by 36. So, that is going to be 1 by 9. Okay. So, that is going to be 1 by 9. For example, you want to find the sum of 10 from 2 throws of a die. Okay. So, then you have to calculate when we will get 10. So, that is the possibility of what? 4 and 6. Okay. 4 and 6. 5 and 5. And then 6 comma 4. So, that means there are the 3 favorable cases to occur sum of 10 from the 2 rows of the die. So, 3 by the sample space is going to be 36. So, that is going to be 1 by 30. So, the probability of sum is 10 from uh, 2 rows of the dice is 1 by 30. Okay. So, how to remember this one? So, we have a pyramid concept to remember the sum of 2 and sum of 3, the favorable number of you know, elements. I mean, the number of uh, the cardinality of favorable events for the sum is 2, 3. So, to remember that one, we have a pyramid. Okay? So, this is a pyramid. So, here take 2. 1 is not possible because the sum of 2, whenever we are throwing a dice, the sum of sum 2 is not possible. Uh, sorry, sum 1 is not possible. But 2 is possible. Okay, The minimum is 2 is possible and maximum 12. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 9, 10, 11 and 12, 11 and 12. So, this is going to be 1 and 2, this is 3 and this is 4, this is 5 
and this is 6 ok and again this one is 5 this is 4 and 3 here 4 no, no reverse 5 4 3 and this is 2 and this is going to be 1 so here the probability of getting some 9 so some 9 is going to be 4 ok 9 so the number of you know uh, elements in the sample uh, event the number of elements in the event the sum 9 is going to be 4 so that is 4 by 36 so for 10 10 it is going to be 3 so here also we got 3 so for 10 the sum 10 will come how many times but the 3 times so that is 3 by 36 so the occurring of 12 so the occurring of going to be 12 is 1 time so when we are getting 6 6 and both the dice so then only we will get so that is 1 so that is going to be so 1 by 36 so the occurring of yeah. so this is the way to remember so the sum of 2 will come only one time so when we are getting 1 1 on the both side 3 will get 2 times that is 1 2 2 1 so 2 times 4 will get 3 times that is 1 3 3 1 2 2 so 3 times 4 will come 3 times 5 will come 4 times ok 1 4 ok uh, 4 1 ok 2 3 and 3 2 ok 3 2 so 5 will come 4 times ok so in the same manner 6 will come 5 times and 7 will come 6 and 8 will come 5 times 9 4 and 10 3 11 2 12 1 so using this pyramid concept usually you can remember the the sum of you know the sum of uh, the sum of actually the numbers on the two die two dice whenever we are throwing so okay so two will come one time three will come two times and four will come three times so so using this pyramid and you can easily calculate the sum of the numbers on the two dice okay so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel